What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we're continuing with our Sun Through Houses series. We kicked it off with Sun in the Fourth House, so I figured I'd just go over the Sun in the Fifth. All right? So, what is the Fifth House? The Fifth House is like probably like the most fun house in the Zodiac. It's the house of our hobbies, our social life, our romantic life, okay? Uh, the house of performing arts, uh, politics, self-discovery, children, okay? So many things. And the sun is our vitality, it's our ego, it's our confidence. It represents the relationship with our father, other authority figures, overall, our career, uh, a lot of life's purpose, and um, sun is just like that conscious awareness of your your most positive and negative qualities. Okay, so let's get into it. When when sun comes into the fifth house, it's home. Okay, Leo naturally rules the uh, naturally is associated with the fifth house, and Leo is ruled by the sun. So sun here was very much at home, and when your son is in the fifth house, the relationship with not only just your father, but probably your parents overall is very, very important to you, all right? And more specifically with your father, whether you're a guy or a girl, the things that your father teaches you is going to really, really shape your character. And the type of relationship that you have with your father is going to be seen through the sign, other planets, and aspects being made to the fifth house. All right. As a quick as it was like, all right. So for the most part, for the most part, the uh, a fifth house son has a has a pretty good relationship with the father. Father views views you as a friend, or you view father as a friend. Okay, someone you can confide in, you know, do things with. And the overall sign is going to show more of the relationship. So if we have uh, a son in Aries, you can bet whether it's a guy or a girl, their relationship with their with their father is going to be um, a very outgoing and active one, all right? Father may get you into sports and things like that and just teach you about um, making moves. If it's, if it's in Taurus, you're, that's the father that's going to try to provide you with a lot of luxury and material things. If it's Gemini, you're the you're gonna have a really intellectual, communicative relationship with your parent, all right? And they it, it'll show what they really value, and then you'll come to value that same thing, and it's gonna reflect upon you, the fifth house son person, when you have children, all right? So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that, but so like I said. Father, what father teaches you has a huge impact on how you view life because it's like this, you, you, you know, father in, in all our charts is like a, a role model and here, and here is like your, your father really builds that confidence for you. And a lot of your confidence and your ego comes from things having to do with the fifth house. So friends, the social circle. All right. The fifth house son is normally the life of the party. All right. And very, very much so um, into the social scene. OK. And this can, like I said, depending on the overall makeup of the person, this can work for them or against them. All right. Because when you're very group oriented, you know, you, you sometimes have to deal with people's shit and you put you put, you know, your your desires and things to the back. But everyone's different, all right? Um, but yeah, so a huge fifth house son definitely is, is a big time partier, uh, likes to go out. This is a position that creates a natural, like, uh, just a natural whatever, okay? And when I say a natural whatever, it's a, it can create a natural performer, a natural athlete, a natural politician, a natural teacher, Okay, because the fifth house is hobbies. So whatever sign here, whatever sign is ruling the fifth, you're going to, those things are going to be your 
creative endeavors. Those are that is how you're going to seek to express yourself. All right. So the thing with the fifth house son is that, like I said, you want like no one wants their their parent or, or you know like their father to say you're gonna go do this and that's that. But in this case, you want father to give you an idea of what you should do. Okay. Because what the the fifth house sons who don't have that strong relationship with their father, they or, or a damaged one, they don't have that overall career sense. Okay, so back to me saying like the fifth, uh, fifth house son is a natural. It can be a natural, natural at whatever because it all it's all about what your parents introduce you to. So if your parents get you in a ballet. You'll be a, you'll find that you'll be a natural at that. If they get you in the sports, you find that you're a natural at that. Leo is creativity, all right. Um, and and this is and from that, a lot of your ego and your confidence is going to arise. And since we're talking about sun, we have to talk about ego. And with sun being in its own house, the ego can get really really big here, and it can be a problem because more than likely. The fifth house son is probably the parent's favorite, okay, or a particular parent's favorite. And through knowing that or growing up that way, their ego grew. So what happens is they naturally become used to getting the attention and praise and things like that. And it carries over into their relationships, so if you're dating a fifth house son, they need your attention. They need to fifth house sons are fun in a romantic sense because they 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 know they know the rules of romance. Okay, now are fifth house sons very loyal in romance? Not early on in life because they're constantly playing the field and seeing you know, what's out there, so what happens is a lot love-wise, they go through a lot of relationships, and a lot of fake love, because depending on the nature of the sign, you know, because ego and, and your son is here, so that new romance is gonna make you feel like, Oh my God, I think I'm in love or it's just going to give you this overall spark. So a lot of times I would say one thing a fifth house son should learn is to be to realize who they are, because what happens is when when your ego gets wrapped up in your relationships, you start to believe that I'm nothing without a relationship. OK, kind of like a Libra complex. OK, so that's something you want to do. You want to realize what you bring to the table and you want to you want to basically learn to take your ego outside of your relationships if you don't have a relationship you can still be just as confident and things like that all right so like i was saying before where the ego like depending on you know the relationship with the father it can so you have these two types of people you're going to have the person who, based on a relationship with their parent, their father, you know, whatever the nature of it was, they are going to infuse those same qualities into their kids. It's going to, it's going to trickle down. All right. And then on the flip side, you have that person who lack, who lacked all of what they wanted. Okay. And as a result, and as a result, you can't, um, they, they automatically give give that to the, their children okay so is isn't really a loss here overall what it shows is that the fifth house son is gonna be a good parent all right or or a, a a proud parent pardon me a proud parent a fifth house son is uh when they become a parent is gonna be very much so um that braggadocious parent okay that that if, especially if their son is in fire they're going to be that parent that's at the sporting events or whatever events like, that's my boy, that's my kid, da, da, da. you know, it's very much that type of person. And also, with a, you know, uh, for the Fire Fifth House Sons, you know, your parent is probably uh, overall just motivator, someone who motivates you, all right?
So that's something to pay attention to. Now, as far as like, so you, you'll be proud. You'll be very proud parents. But here's here's the next thing with the ego, right? This person, since since they're used to garnering all the attention and wanting all the affection, it can make them not be as nurturing as a parent should, okay? When it comes to their romances, they may not really have this problem because they're highly you know, aware of it, but it can still occur, but as a parent, like, every child needs a nurturing aspect, okay, it's cool to teach them intellectual things, it's cool to, um, you know, show them how to take action or whatever and be emotionally in touch, but they, they need to be nurtured, all right, and it's, it's, it's a, it comes, anybody who's a parent knows that it comes a point where you sacrifice your own ego or something about your your core being because you are now a parent and this is something that the fifth house son either does well or it's going to be the obstacle in uh to overcome all right to just be an overall just giving like giving emotionally giving all right because it's not in the sense of materials i'm really talking here about um emotionally all right being there for the kid now, career-wise, like I was saying before, it's good for father to give you an idea because um, fifth house sons can fall into the trap. They're, I, I would say they're not necessarily late bloomers, but a lot of them can be late bloomers because they spend so much time partying, okay? If you're a fifth house son and you, and you have like... 7th house and 11th house and 3rd house energy where it or even just signs energy and uh, signs that make you a lot more social you want to you you might want to tighten the reins on that because above all your son needs to shine you need to find that thing about your personality or your being that makes you the son Okay, it's not gonna come through just being a part of a team. You you need to go out there. You need to claim claim your own lane, all right, and not just follow your friends. So basically, what I'm saying, a fifth house son, you're not meant to be a a, a follower at all. Okay, so and being a follower, following around with your friends or or even the wrong partner can stagnate your success. Okay, but career wise, it's a lot of things open to these guys because their level of creativity is naturally high and it's and it's some like uh, they're always willing to give something a try. So, like I said, they can excel in a lot of things, but they're more so natural performers, dancers, poets, actors. These are all fifth house people, even, you know, like musicians as well. And, and um, just overall people out there dealing with the public, all right? And like I said, pay attention to your sign because it's going to give you a lot more insight, okay? So, guys, this is my interpretation of Sun in the Fifth House. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Until next time, peace.